so the fibrous tissue in the fingers and thumb which is attached to the sides of the phalanges forms um, a fibro-osseous tunnel which extends from the heads of the metacarpals to the bases of the distal phalanges right and these are in white you can see here these are the fibrous flexor sheets all right now the purpose of these fibrous flexor sheets is to prevent the tendons the long flexor tendons from pulling away from the bones these fibrous flexor sheets are closed distally at the base of the distal phalanx here right so these fibrosseous tunnels which are formed by the fibrous flexor sheets are closed distally and they open proximally here right and within these fibrous flexor sheets uh, they contain the tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis which you can see here now this has been cut open so the most superficial is the fibrous flexor sheath this contains uh, the long flexor tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis the flexor digitorum profundus here and these are uh, covered by their own synovial sheets so these um, flexor fibrous flexor sheets contain the tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis the flexor digitorum profundus and in case of the first digit they contain the tendon of the flexor pollicis longus and all of these uh, tendons are enclosed within their own synovial sheets right now um, these uh, fibrous flexor sheets they are um, thick over the phalanges and uh, thin at the interphalangeal joints or metacarpophalangeal joints right so here you can see this is uh, the metacarpal the proximal phalanx the middle phalanx and here is the uh, distal phalanx now uh, here you can see the tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis and the flexor digitorum profundus these are covered by their synovial sheath so this is the uh, synovial tendon sheath in blue right and uh, this synovial sheath is then covered by in white you can see the fibrous flexor sheaths and this diagram here shows you the um, cruciform and annular reinforcements of this fibrous flexor sheets now the fibrous flexor sheets are thinner at the joints and much thicker at the phalanges now let's talk about the synovial flexor sheets now these are uh, the coverings which cover the long flexor tendons uh, just before they pass through the carpal tunnel all right now here in blue you can see the uh, sino sorry let's talk about this is the usual arrangement and this is a common variation so let's talk about this first uh, so these are the in blue you can see the synovial flexor sheets now this synovial flexor sheet contains the tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus uh, and this is also known as the ulnar bursa all right so they start just before so here you will have the flexor retinaculum and this synovial sheath covering starts just before they pass deep to the flexor retinaculum and then enter the hand and um, the synovial flexor sheaths um, for the second third fourth digits stop midway into the palm but the synovial sheet or the synovial covering for the fifth digit continues on till the and it becomes the digital uh, synovial sheet here right so these are this whole thing is the ulnar bursa all right and uh, for the tendon of the flexor digitorum uh, sorry the flexor pollicis longus this is the covering or the synovial sheath which covers it and this is also known as the radial bursa so this is a variation where the um, the radial and the ulnar bursa communicate with each other right and this they can have an intermediate bursa but this is the 
usual presentation, the usual arrangement, how the radial and the ulnar bursa are present and um, the ulnar bursa uh, stops midway except for the fifth digit. So when it comes to uh, the second, third and fourth digits, um, they, have a se they have their own separate digital synovial sheets because this ulnar bursa stops midway into the palm and uh, here these tendons are not covered by their synovial sheets but once they enter the digits uh, these uh, tendons are then uh, ensheathed within their own uh, separate synovial digital synovial sheets.